How to navigate the settings menu on the new Heart Zones PE iPad version 2.0 app. Start by opening your Heart Zones PE app. Once on the Heart Zones homepage, tap on the settings icon to open up the settings menu. You will see a long list of functions on the settings menu. The first line is export files. This is how you will load your class list into the Heart Zones app. Refer to the lesson Creating Class Participants Using .csv Files for directions on how to easily complete this process. If you wish to log out of the Heart Zones app, tap on the green Log Out box. There is usually never any reason to do this, but if you need to, tap here. Next, tap on the Edit Email tab. You will now have the ability to customize the email message that can be sent out to your students. You do not need to add your own message you can send the message that Heart Zones has prepared with each individual report. Tap on Back to Settings to return to the Settings menu. Your next option in Settings is to configure your bridge. This takes just a couple minutes to complete. Refer to the lesson Setting Up Your Bridge in Wi-Fi Mode if necessary. Next is the Show Percent Heart Rate Max button. If you tap on this button, you will be able to see what percent of max heart rate each student is working at. You will also have the option to display the student's first name or their assigned number on the big board. If you want numbers displayed, tap on the button to turn it green. Student names will still show up on your iPad, but will display as numbers on the big board. Students will have the ability to flip their own tile on the big board to display more data by pressing a button on their blink armband. If you would like to block the student's ability to flip through their tiles, tap this button to green. More information on flipping tiles and what this data means can be found on the tutorial Tour the Tiles. Next, if you'd like to power down all the Scotia heart rate sensors, simply tap the power down button. This is an easy way at the end of the day to make sure all your sensors are off. You will have the ability to change the background of the tiles. Choose from gradient, solid, or none at all. The first screen is an example of gradient tiles. Most will choose this one. Next is solid, and finally, no background color at all. You notice that you can still see the zone color in the bar graphs though. Next, you will be able to set the zones for all three of these categories. Setting zones here will be for all students. You will also have the ability to set zones individually for students if you'd like to as well. You can learn more about this in the tutorial Tour the Tiles. You will see what version of the Heart Zones app you are currently using next. If you are not automatically updating your app, you will always have the ability to check here to see what version you have. After scrolling down a little more, you will come to the last four lines in the settings menu. From here, you will be able to delete classes, participants, sensors, and bridge locations. By selecting one of these, it will bring up a white box confirming if this is really what you want to do. Select cancel or delete. The process is the same for each of these. You have successfully navigated through the settings menu.